look what I've got. Yeah. New 2022 Santa Cruz Heckler. And it's looking really good. And this bike just arrived and I just received the press kit. So I haven't had the chance to read it even. So I'll get back to the specs, but here's what I know for now. It's 160 mil travel front with a 29 er wheel, 27 plus uh, or 27.5, 2.6 at the back. The battery is, I believe it's the Darfoon battery, 720 watt hours. So like 50% more than the old Heckler with the 500 watt hours battery. This is uh, the top of the line spec, I believe. The SRAM X01 with the axis gear and the factory Fox suspension. So what's new with the Heckler? Of course, the mullet setup is new. The head angle, it's much slacker. And um, there's a flip chip in the rear suspension that will alter the head angle and seat angle by 0.5 degrees. Chainstay length should be the same. Okay, let me interrupt myself here. As we can see from the geometry table, this bike obviously comes in two versions. I test rode a size medium Heckler MX with a 27.5 rear wheel. But there is also the Heckler 29er. It's got a chainstay length of 460 to 461 millimeters. Other than that, they are looking fairly similar. And as we can see, the Heckler 29er is not available in size small. Now let's check out the specs. There's a bunch of them, so just pause the study. What's cool is that the base Heckler, the R kit, now comes with the Shimano EP8. And in my mind, that makes the entry level model quite interesting. Previously with the E7000 motor, uh, not that much. In my mind, the entry level price was much higher. But now with the R kit and the cheaper frame, that's a big thing. Previously, you only got the CC frames, the highest end carbon frames from uh, Santa Cruz. The C carbon frame is a few hundred grams heavier and it's uh, way cheaper. Starting price is $8,199 and it's almost $10,000. 9700 for the next step up. So it's a good thing that the entry level model now is uh, worth considering. You get the RockShox Lyric Select Fork and you get Super Deluxe Select Shock, which is basic but solid and well functioning kit. You of course get the mechanical 12 speed SRAM drivetrain. I haven't had a look at this bike, so I don't know the weight, but uh, we weighed the top of the line model the Axis RSV Carbon CC frame, and it was 21.7 kilos. That's pretty nice for a 720 watt hours battery bike. And the top of the line model is 13,299, which should make it quite a bit cheaper than the top of the line specialized Levo. And specs are pretty similar, it seems. The Norwegian distributor got five of these bikes, and they are spread between five shops, and I would assume they're all sold out. So the next batch, we're not really sure when they arrive, but the shops, they encourage us to contact them and uh, pre-order if you want to have any hopes of getting one of these bikes this year. Okay, that's it. Let's go for a ride before we get even more snow. Yeah. Yeah, we've got snow on our trails and uh, there is more coming. So this won't be a long ride, but uh, I'll get. So it's just to get a few first impressions. And the first impression is it climbs really well. That was a steep section and uh, no issues keeping the front wheel down.
these are not familiar trails and I'm definitely lost but on the positive side the bike climbs well it handles and turns really fast I am of course running studded tires the Suomi Pikisika ride is over that was properly fun this bike it's still the old Santa Cruz Heckler with lots more of battery capacity and it's a more capable version I remember testing the Santa Cruz bullet and uh, I really liked the bullet because it added something that the old Heckler was sort of missing some would say a bigger battery, not that important to me but um, this is a slacker, more capable 150-160 mil travel bike I think that's sort of the sweet spot for my kind of riding I've had lots of fun on 170-180 mil travel bikes but uh, this really is what the MTBs are all about to me it was really quick around the turns and I like the mullet setup I have to say the, the shorter rear end the better bum clearance when the saddle is dropped or slammed to, to the bottom and um, the slacker head angle the bigger front wheel it's a very good mix of stability and uh, agility